What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode. I was browsing at CSSTricks.com and I came across with this great CSS trick, CSS Card Carousel. So I decided to reverse engineer it so you guys can increase your web dev skills by coding along with me. We are gonna use flex and grid for position the cards, transforming shadows to give the impression that the cards are on the top of each other. Then we will have this hover animation and a gradient text background, and much more. If you are new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click the bell, so you'll be notified every time I post a new video like this one. We start right now. Alright, let's start with really from scratch. There is a folder with nothing inside of it, just a picture, okay? So let's create our file structure. We have our index.html for markup and also our style.css, okay? And let's go to our HTML, let's create our markup, our boilerplate. And here let's say something like CSS card carousel. Alright, let's come down here to the body, okay? And down here, we are going to create our main container. Let's create our section. The section is going to be the deck where we're going to put all the cards, okay? Let's give it a class of card list. And inside this one, let's create another div called article, okay? This one is going to be the card itself. And in the card, we're going to create a header, all right? Let's give the class of card header. We are use Emmet here, you can do the regular way if you want, okay? And inside this header, we're gonna have two elements here, okay? Let me type here. We're gonna have a paragraph, let's say HTML, and then we're gonna have a title, H2 title, okay? Let's put something here, Lauren 7, okay? All right, now let's duplicate thing. All right, let's go live here, okay? So we're gonna be coding the right and you see the results in real time on the left. That's the best way of learning, okay? You are learning by doing. As you can see, we have our ugly text with nothing, <laughs> nothing else, okay? But let's change here the paragraphs. We have HTML, HTML, HTML. Let's have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you also React. All the front end is in here, all right? As you can see, okay, I'm changing here. And this one is gonna be JavaScript. I'm creating here a, a couple of videos from JavaScript. I'm gonna release them soon, okay? And the React is the blessed one. Now it's time to give life to our project, okay? Let's go to our CSS. First of all, let's create this link that's gonna connect our markup to our CSS, all right? For Google Fonts, we're gonna use the DM Mono, okay? Feel free to use the font you like the most. And now let's go to the body and the global settings, all right? First of all, let's get you rid of any padding and margin, okay? Let's pick a background column. Again, feel free to use it the, the one you like the most. And a color to the text here, let's say white. And let's use the Google Fonts that you just picked, okay? Now let's select the the big container or card list and let's change the layout to flex and also add a padding of 3 RAM, alright? Alright, now let's grab the card itself, alright? Dot card and let's use display flex make the cards flow horizontally position is gonna be relative and fluctuation let's make column, okay? Let's give it also a size of 350 by 400 pixels, all right? Also, we need here a uh, me with, in case of we have a lot of cards, okay? It's a padding, 1.5 RAM. And now is where the magic happens, okay? Let's have this border radius, 
a background and you are going to use a negative horizontal offset making the card look like they are on the top of each other okay so let's type it box shadow minus one rain horizontal offset zero three rain let's pick the black color and yeah as you can see the result it really looks like the cards are on the top of each other okay this is a nice trick coming from box shadow right now let's address our scroll bar okay overflow x is going to be a scroll as you can see you have as a result this very ugly scroll bar we're going to fix that by using pseudo class there is a lot of things going on in this project okay guys uh card list and webkit a scroll bar so let's give it a size with 10 pixels and also a height of 10 pixels all right to save you some time let's copy this one and paste it here okay the scroll bar tub is the thing that the user drags around let's give it a background color all right it's looking much better right now and okay in here we're gonna have a body radius of 10 pixels okay we're gonna have also a box shadow with inset which puts the shadow inside the element okay you can pause it here and copy or you can go to our patient because in there we're gonna have a video and also the, the source code okay this is a nice way of supporting our channel and yeah it's done as you can see on the left you have a nice result already last step with the scroll bar let's go to webkit scroll bar and track okay down here let's have a background and linear gradient let's say nine degrees going from this color 201c39 201c39 one pixel okay then let's pick another color 17141 d here zero and again 17141 d and that's it our scroll bar is ready let's give some life to our project here okay it's animation time card hover you can use translate or move one ramp up as you can see we hover over it and it goes up one ramp okay the second thing we're gonna do here we're gonna select all the symbols after our card and make them uh, move in the x direction 130 pixels as you can see we hover over this one and they go to the right okay but there is a, a problem here as you can see we have a huge gap in between the card we're gonna solve this issue by select all the card but the first child okay this one is gonna stay put so in here let's apply to this one I margin left of minus 130 pixels so as you can see it's working but there is something else you can do here we can add some timing to our transition let's go to the card here and add the transition of dot two seconds let me show you the huge difference now now it's looking very nice let's go back to our markup and let's add that other top picture and text to our guys okay under the head let's create this div class author and let's add a picture okay inside this one img and you, you're gonna select your your own picture okay or whatever you want let me type here avatar and as you can see we have already the picture here the second thing here you're gonna have is this svg you're gonna have that on 
our markup okay you can go there and copy it's down below in the video description and let's have another div outer name div class auto name prefix outer and rob sony's in here of course you're gonna use your name okay this part is done all we have to do is copy and paste in each card okay remember it's under the header okay it's quite simple do that save and you must have something like we do here let me show you as you can see it's a huge mess we're gonna fix that with css now let's select the card outer that you just create okay and position is gonna be relative display let's use grid here and grid template columns let's say 35 pixels for the first column and one fraction of unit for the next one okay align items is going to be the center and margin 3 ren 0 0 okay now let's go to our, our picture our avatar okay display let's set to block as you know image are by default inline Let's give a fixed size, okay, 40 by 40 pixels. And let's make it round with body radio 50%. If you want that to be black and white, you can add this filter, grayscale, let's say 85%, and you have a black and white picture. Now let's put it in the right place, okay, with 16 pixels, 10 pixels margin, okay. Now let's deal with our SVG, okay. Position here is going to be absolute and let's bring it to under our picture. Okay, bottom zero, left also zero, and let's decrease its size to 60 pixels by 60 by 48 pixels. Okay, as you can see, we have it here, but it's, it's black. Let's remove the color with fill none. All right, let's give it a stroke. You're gonna in here pick a color. As you can see, we have the stroke of red. And let's apply stroke width to 8. And stroke line cap round. As you can see, let's make it round. Let's grab the outer name here, okay? The outer name prefix. Font style, let's make it normal. Font weight is going to be 700. And let's change its color to something different of the text below this one okay now is the time let's use the gradient text to our h2 okay or hover effect here is quite simple first we have to choose a background color let's pick this one nine degrees and going from this color ff8 uh, zero zero to the second one and this is not enough okay you're gonna have to use text shadow none and you're gonna use the shape of the text to clip the background okay so background clip text let's use the webkit vendor webkit background clip let's say text text fill color okay transparent so you're gonna have the color of the background and as you can see it's working nice okay guys that's all for today i hope you like it if you like it you'll know what to do subscribe and you also click that little bell and thanks for watching i see you in the next video